All right, so in this video, I'm gonna go over how to create a video landing page. So whenever you log into your Dynamics Pro, you'll see landing pages underneath Action Center right here. You're gonna click on that. And you could uh, use any of these that are in your active area. However, I am going to show you how to create a new landing page, which is up here in the upper right hand corner from scratch. So you click on this button right here. <clears throat> and then you'll know if it's a video landing page if after the template name, it says video, as in this one right here has video after it. So you know you could use a video. All right, so now we are just going to name this. So we will just call it first time home buyer workshop and we'll just put video after the end of it so we know that it is a video and you can put it in a folder if you like I'm gonna leave it not in a folder and I'm gonna hit create and start editing and we have a module that kind of goes over uh, some of the stuff um, but this one's gonna be about video only so you'll notice right here on the preview tab <clears throat> there's this edit this page and there's also this button right here with the box with the arrow um, and it's pointing up to upper right hand corner I'm gonna go ahead and click that and that's gonna open it up into a new tab or a new window so you'll see up here if I click on it it's gonna open it up into a new tab or a new window and then that way if I need to I could just toggle back and forth all right, so the first thing that we're gonna do is, um, is you're gonna edit this page and you're gonna click on this button right here, edit this page, and it's gonna open up the landing page editor. So up here in the upper right hand corner, you'll see landing page editor. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna start at the top and then we're gonna work our way down to the bottom, okay? So I'm gonna click on browser page title. Now again, browser page title is up here so you'll see it says up here in this window right here, if you see my mouse, it says Centurion uh, Wheels. And that is the browser page title. That way if you have a bunch of tabs open and you get lost of where you were at, you could look and then this browser page title. So if I go back over, click on browser page title over here on the right hand side on the landing page editor pane over here and we'll put first time home buyer workshop now we don't need to put video here like we did when we named it because uh, the video was just to let you know that this landing page was a video <clears throat> this is what the actual person will see uh, when they run across your campaign so you don't need to put video because they'll see the video on the actual landing page so save and close now you'll notice again, it didn't change uh, this uh, title up here, but that's because we haven't hit refresh. So if we hit refresh on this web browser or this tab, you'll see that it changes right now. So anytime you wanna see a change on this page, you have to hit refresh. However, um, over here, whenever we do like the phone number, you'll see it says 888-555-5555. So we wanna just, uh, Oops, I hit the wrong button. Phone number, click on phone number. And all I'm gonna do is just change this 888 to the 555, just so you could kind of see the example. So now I change the 555, now you'll see this adjust to 555. Save and close. There we go. And again, uh, you'll notice that this uh, landing page editor page um, will change as you do your changes. However, over here, You'll notice it still says 888 right here, and that's because you have to hit the refresh button. And then now you'll see 555. It's the last time I'll explain that part. Just wanted to make sure I get that across. Now we wanna to go to the left column heading. So you'll see as I go down over here, this will highlight the area. So watch over here, left column heading, left column content area, and it just switches it back and forth so you know what it is. All right, so um, I wanna change the left column heading, so I'm gonna go ahead and click over here on this right-hand side, left column heading, and I'm gonna click it. 
and we're going to put free home buyer free actually we'll put free first time home buyer workshop all right so i'm going to go down here hit save and close all right and then now and don't worry about the way that it kind of looks over here um because basically we're kind of using a half of a pane so like whenever you go over here and i hit refresh you'll see that this changes so we'll hit refresh free first time home buyer workshop because it's a wider view and then of course as you um uh like on mobile it's going to look a little bit different than it does on a uh, computer screen so anyway just wanted to kind of show you that all right, so now that we did the left column heading, we, we're just gonna go down to the next one. We keep an order so we don't miss anything. Left column content area, which is right here. So I'm gonna click on left column content area. All right, and then now you can, uh, just to let you know, you can, uh, I don't know, like if you were doing like a open house landing page and you had a video tour right here, um, you could put, you know, here are some of the features of the home. Uh, you know, three bedroom, two bath, two car garage, fenced in yard. So you could use this format, but I also wanna show you that um, if you don't wanna use the same format, I could just go improve. And actually, let me, uh, let me go ahead and copy and paste just for the sake of time. And that way you don't have to see me type everything out. So let's just go ahead and put this in there. All right, so, all right. So you can, now if you wanted to, you can make this different colors if you wanted to. You can change the font on it if you wanted to. So let's just say that I wanted to use Arial right here. Actually, I want to use Arial on the whole thing. All right. And then maybe I wanted to highlight all these words. And if you go up here to this A up here, and there's a little drop down beside the A, you can see when I hover my mouse over it, it says text color. I'm going to click on this drop down and I'm going to use this. Uh, that's black, so I'm going to try to find the blue. Oops. Try to make sure I highlight the whole thing and then select the blue. I'm going to keep on. I don't know why it's doing that. Give me one second. Navy blue, click. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just copy that. I'm not sure why it's doing that to me. I'm gonna go ahead and X out of this. And because I didn't save it, it goes back to the default. So I'm gonna go back. I think it's because I messed it up the first time. So, all right, so we'll go ahead and put this. And now I am going to see if it'll work now. I go up here to the A, text color, hover my mouse, it says navy blue when I hover it. And then I think what it's doing is it's actually, because I copied and pasted this, it's importing the color code from my other uh, test landing page. So let me go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and take this source code and I'm gonna delete all this out of there. That way it doesn't have that in there. So I'm gonna have to go ahead and type that in there. Your home buying knowledge and confidence in just 90 minutes. Learn to unravel the complexities of the home buying process from industry leaders all right and there's more to it but I'm just gonna leave that alone just for the sake of time there we go all right so now if I go up here to the text color and I select navy blue then it goes the navy blue all right and if I want to center align center instead of having it justified to the left I'll just click align center and then if I want to I create a space and then we'll just go down to the save and close. And then you'll see over here it changes. Now, of course, if you want it to be 
a little bit more bolder or if you want to um, take the font size and maybe move it up to a 12 point uh, it looks like it's already at a 12 let's do a 16 and you could uh, increase it and you could even bolden it if you wanted to and maybe I'll go down to a 14 all right and then we'll just hit save and close so you kind of just kind of mess around with it till um, you have it the way uh, that you like it all right and then now that we're done with that area you go to the next one and action button text and you could put find out more or you can just change it to whatever you want so you put register me now save and close and then you'll notice the button over here will change so I'll go save and close there we go register me now below action but we will protect your um, below the action button it'll say below um, below action button is um, right now it just says we will protect your uh, email address um, you can change that if you want and you can even do something like You can even make it more clear. Click on register me now above, above, and we'll send you your confirmation RSVP to our first time home buyer workshop. You know, if you just want to make it a little bit more clear what they, uh, what they, uh, what they'll do so click on register me now above and we'll send you your confirmation RSVP to our first time home buyer workshop you really didn't have to change that I was just showing that you could alright so next is video caption so if I hover my mouse over there then it'll highlight this area so let's go video caption and on this um, you know maybe we want to put you know, Saturday um, January 21st 2021 I'm just gonna use future dates and maybe you'll put a time right here so you know, 10 a.m. to 11:30 a.m. and then down here um, you know maybe you're a loan originator and um, you are working with another Keller Williams agent so maybe they're maybe Keller Williams is allowing you to use their property so this is where your this is where your um, uh, first time home buyer workshop will be all right and then if you wanted to let's just say that um, Keller Williams, Lakeland, Florida. And then if you wanted to, I just wanted to kind of show you what you could do. So like right here, if you like just Googled the address, you could actually see the pictures. So if I click on these pictures, then, or you could take a picture of the outside of wherever it is. So this is, looks like it's a Google map, so we don't want that. So I could go to Google, uh, Google Keller Williams Lakeland, Florida. Go to images, and it should show an image of the front of Keller Williams Lakeland, Florida. This was a bad example. You might have to put in the address. Here, I'm going to pause this while I find it. All right. So what I had to do was I actually had to do a screen print of the Google Maps, and that's how I got a picture of it. So you may need to actually take a picture of the outside of wherever you are, and then basically you can go and you can put like a little space down here, and then there's this little insert image. Uh, it's a picture with like a mountain with a moon or a sun in the background. You click on this, and then you can click on upload right here. 
from your local machine, which is basically your computer, your desktop. All right, and then here's my picture of Keller Williams. I'm just going to double click it. It's going to add it to the image library, and then I'm going to click on this insert button. So follow my arrow down here to the bottom right, click insert, and then there's my Keller Williams. Now I could click on the image if I want, and then hover my mouse over top this corner in the upper right hand corner. And if I hold down on my left click on the mouse and then I drag it inwards, you can see how it adjusts the size. So right now it's at 497 pixels by 267. So you kind of just adjust it. You keep on clicking, hover your mouse until these arrows pop up, drag it inward until it's just this, uh, you don't want it too big. So we'll hit save and close. And then you'll see that this changes over here. And then there's a nice little picture of it right there. That way people can actually see um, what the front of the office looks like if they're driving around they're not familiar with that area um, so you see the you know the date and all this other stuff right here so all right so let's see here this was video caption now we want to go to the three column header so if I go down here to the three column header you can see when I it's this right here okay so on this one let's do the three column header we're gonna click it all right, so, and so for this first one, I'm just going to highlight this area and we'll put the home buying, whoops, home buying process in 10 simple steps. And I may want to get a little fancy and take this 10 right here, highlight it, and maybe go up here to the text color and then click on the drop down and maybe put like a little red right there. That way it kind of pops with it. And then uh, we could put something like presented to you by, and we'll go down here, hit save and close. And then when we hit save and close, you'll notice that this will change over here. So we'll hit save and close. And now it's coming together pretty nicely. All right. Now, one of the most common questions that we get, and I just wanted to make sure I let everyone know, you can, like, if you have to put information or pictures in this area, you can't uh, skip it out. It's, it's hard coded in here, so you currently cannot skip this part. So, if you don't want all this stuff down here, then you should use a different uh, landing page other than this one um, because all of them are hard coded. And so you have to fill information in here. So down here, it's good to show who it's presented by. So who um, who's going to be uh, there with you? Okay. So right here, once I click on that, you'll see that there's this little placeholder image. All it is is a square. It's just a square. Now, if you want to replace it with something, I'm, I'm just going to click it. And of course, um, I'm doing this landing page as a first bank mortgage person. So I'm going to once I highlight it and it's you see these little boxes, then if you click on this insert image, it will replace whatever's highlighted right here. So I'm going to click on insert image. I'm going to click on upload, local machine, and here's my first bank. I'm going to double click it, and I'm going to hit insert. Okay. Now you're going to see that this thing is humongous. This image is really, really big. Okay. So we don't want to use a humongous image because it's going to look weird. So let's let's see what it looks like if I leave it the size it's at. So if I hit save and close, and I scroll down, you're going to see that this thing is humongous. So we don't want it that size. Okay, so we're going to go back to the first column and we're going to click the image until it highlights and then you'll see the square in the upper corner you're gonna click and you're gonna drag inward and you'll see the dimensions right there right now it's at 4536 pixels by 1587 alright so we do not want it that big so we're just gonna keep dragging it hover your mouse arrow shows up click drag inward click drag inward click drag inward click drag inward okay this is a humongous image so it's taking a while to click and drag inward now you could always download a smaller image and then it won't take this much work to actually 
um, do that. There we go. Now what I like to do is this first, see how it says it's 363 by 127, and then there it is, I can make it 130 tall. So the first one is the width, so you see that it's a bigger width, and then the height is smaller. So the height is the, the one to the right. So if I have, if I have um, images that are side by side, I probably want them the same height. So um, let's just make the height 120. So the height of this is 120 pixels, okay? So just remember 120 pixels for just this example, basically. So 120 pixels. I'm just gonna write it down so I don't forget it. And then I could put Nathan Montgomery. Um, and then I could even talk a little bit about me. Um, and then etc. All right. So you go ahead and fill in what you want to put down here and then hit save and close. Okay. So if I scroll down, you'll see it says First Bank, Nathan Montgomery, I've been doing a lot. All right, so now if I go to the big screen and I hit the refresh button, you'll notice all this stuff is gonna change except for the video because we have not got there just yet. All right, so we're gonna hit refresh. All right, and then we go down and there it is, First Bank. So what I was talking about with the 120 pixels, so from here up here is 120 pixels. So I'd like for whatever this image to be exactly the same height as that um, that way it's a little bit uniform. So that's why I said remember the second one, which is the height. All right, so I'm going to go back and I'm, let's go ahead and change this out. So now I'm going to go to the second column, click on second column. And I'm going to click on this image. And I'm, now, now that it's highlighted, I'm going to replace it by clicking on this insert image. And now I'm going to go to upload again up here at the top. Local machine, which is my computer. And now we will do Keller Williams because we got our now we got our loan originator and our or our um, real estate agent. All right, it says finished uploading. Now I'm going to click insert. Now you'll see it's check mark. So whatever you whatever's check mark, you could hit insert. You could also click on the actual picture instead of this insert, and it'll work the same way. So click. All right, now we see that this thing is big again. So I'm gonna go ahead and do what I did last time, click on the image, go up here to the corner and click and drag. So now I'm looking for 120 on the height on the second number to make it the same height. So we're almost there. 125, 120, there we go. All right, so now we got 120. And let's just go ahead and put uh, Josh Headley. Put your content here. So you know, maybe it's his bio or something. And we're going to hit save and close. And I'm just going to go to the bigger one just so you can see better. I'm going to hit refresh. And now it'll change Keller Williams. So now because we made it 120, you'll notice that this lines up. So that's why we were doing the height of 120. So now we'll go to this third column. It's kind of nice because you don't need Photoshop. You can just click and drag. All right, so now we're going to go to this third column over here, third column, click on it. I'm going to click on this image. I'm not going to spend a lot of time because we just went through two of them. Upload, local machine, and now we got Headley Insurance, insert, and that one's pretty close anyway, so we'll do 120. I can't really get it on there. All right, there, so there's 120, 121, pretty close. And we'll put, uh, Sarah Montgomery. Content here, save and close. All right, let's see what this looks like now. There we go. Looks pretty good. 
All right, let's go ahead and go back. Copyright notice. That's going to be down here. All right, so again, you may have to put some legal disclaimers or something down there. Um, or you could put, uh, you know, Josh Headley. Or you could Nathan Montgomery Real Estate. Whatever you want. Save and close. It's really designed for any kind of disclaimers that need to go down there. So, um, form heading. All right. So, form heading. Let's go ahead and click on that. Form heading says this area appears over the pop up form. It tells users why they should enter their information. So, when I click on this register me now and I click on it, bad example. All right, let's go to register me now on this page and you're almost done. We just need a little bit of information from you. That's what the form heading is. I must accidentally delete it. Let me get out of there. There we go. So you could change this if you want or you could just leave it the same. Doesn't really matter. I'm gonna leave it the same. Submit form text. Let me go ahead and click on it. And then that's send. Okay, so basically it's this button. So you can put send, submit, whatever you want to. I'm just gonna leave it the same. So now you're done with this whole thing. Now we need to do the colors and images. So desktop uh, background photo. Um, again, that's if you want to change this background photo. I wouldn't really worry about it. It's just kind of like a blurred out thing. Um, you can change it if you like. The background color, the theme color. Again, I really wouldn't worry about it too much, but you can customize it a little bit more. You can just select whatever color you want. Again, I would just leave it blank. Logo image, which is up here at the top. So we're going to do the first bank. So um, let's go up here to logo image, upload image. Now this is, this is you'll have to see that this is going to be, let me just show you. So I'm gonna select this image. All right, so you remember last time it was humongous, but it, it did insert it fine right there. So it just kind of scaled it so it wasn't so big. And then the last thing is your YouTube video, okay? So, and it has to be from YouTube. So let me go ahead and just bring up this YouTube. So sometimes your companies will um, provide videos for you. Um, we prefer you to do your own video because you're wanting to brand your own self in your, in your, your own face. Um, so you can do that. Um, that's what we prefer you to do. And if you, now we've already sent that video to you on how to create your YouTube channel and how to upload a video. If you need that video um, on how to, how to create that, just let us know. Just email support at mydynamicspro.com and we'll send you the video on how to set up your YouTube channel and how to upload your video. Um, but if you already have a channel and you have videos downloaded or if uh, your company allows you to use their videos for marketing, then you can. So. Um, once you get to your video page, you can just click on the share button and then you'll see this, um, you'll see this YouTube video link. I'm just going to copy it, go back and then I'll click on this other cause we already did all this. We did this and then now your YouTube video, I'm going to click on it. And now it says paste a YouTube link or YouTube video ID here. So just, just so I let you know what it is. So this whole thing right here is your video link. This at the very end, from right here, the end where it says Z-T-U-R, uh, I don't know if that's an O or not. That's the ID, just to let you know, it doesn't matter. You could also click on this thing right here and say, hey, I want it to start at a certain um, certain area. 
you can say I want it to start at the 48th second if you want to. If you leave this unchecked, it will just start it from the beginning. All right, so I'm going to copy this link. I'm going to delete what's in there. And then I'm going to paste the YouTube link. And then I got to hit apply. And then save and close. So once this video is in there, I think I actually selected the wrong video. I think that other video just, uh, yeah, there we go. So share, copy link, go back, paste. There we go. Yeah, that's a different YouTube. So right there at the end of it, that's the video ID right there. All right. So now you'll see it show up in there and then you'll hit save and close. And you could add, you could have it automatically play a video or you could uncheck it. You can have different sizes for the video. It's best to leave the default, but, or you can autom automatically play it, hit save and close. And for some reason it didn't show on there, but all right. So now if I go to this um, right here and all I gotta do is hit refresh and then I'll show this video. So let me go ahead and hit refresh. And there we go right there. And that is how you create the video landing page from scratch.